Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, I am going to discuss about how we can create the drive factor in the benefit module under the HCM. So let's just start today's session. So here we are going to talk about managing drive factor. These related to things that typically change with the time. So the option that we have for drive factor are things like the age, the length of service, a combination of both, and you can include compensation, hours worked, and even full-time equivalent option here. So for each factor that you create, you can specify one or more rules about how eligibility is determined. So the determination rule is specified the date as of which the try factor is evaluated. So do you want to look at the whatever it as a first of calendar year or do you want it, it to be a based on the event date of the particular event that's being processed. So depending upon the drive factor, you can also specify things like the uh, unit of measures for the time or monetary amounts. You can include rounding rule also and you can include minimums and maximums options. So here I explain that there are several different types of drive factor. So let's just go ahead into the application and explore these options. Okay, so first you have to log in as a implementation user, then go to the benefit administration option here. And under that, just click on the plan configuration option. Okay, then go to the task pane here and then under the eligibility, you can see here the drive factor option, just click on it. So here we are going to create three age drive factor here and I just explain you the other one also here. So for the creating age factor, just click on the create option. Okay, and here give the name like Fusion H night. Okay, then here under the age to you select a persons and also you can select the unit of measure. So here I select the years. And here also you can see there is a so many options here. And then next, what we have to do, we have to fill the greater than or equal to option as a 19 here. Okay, then you can also select here the determination rule. So I select here as of event date. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to just click on the save and create another option. Okay, so next what we have to create here. So we are going to create Fusion H equals to 19 to 64, right? And under the H to you select the persons and under the unit here, select the years, okay? And under the range of value here, I define the greater than or equal to age 19 and less than 65 because we are defining here 19 to 64. Okay. Then select rounding rule as a as of event date. Now again, we have to click on a save and create another drive factor. So here we also fill the another drive factor name using select the age to use as a persons and years. 
greater than n equals to each as a 65 and then click determination ruler as of event date rule. Okay. Then just click on the save and close option. Okay. So you can see here we create three drive factor for benefits. So now what we have to do next, we have to uh, associate these drive factor with the eligibility profiles. So I'm going to explain this in our upcoming session uh, where we can see how we can associate these drive factor with the eligibility profile. Here you can also see there are other drive factor, the length of service. So what kind of information you have to fill here? So you have to fill the name, the unit of measure here, and also the range of value, the date to use, the period start rule. Here you can see the different types of option for the date to use here. And then fill the determination rule. Okay. And then just click on the save and close. So that's how you can create the drive factor for length of service. And here you can also see the combination of age and service. So what you have to fill here. So you have to fill the name, the age factor here. Okay. And uh, age factor where you get the age factor here, you can get the age factor from, from this age here. Okay. And you can see here, we just created these age factor, the fusion age, the fusion is the fusion is. Okay. So you can see here. And next here, you also select the length of service factor here which you create on the length of service drive factor here. So that's how you can create the combination of both age and length of service here. And same with the compensation. Okay, so what are the details you have to fill under the compensation drive factor here? So you fill the name, the unit of measures here. And uh, the range of value and the determination rule. Okay, so that's how you can create the drive factor under the benefit module. So I hope it is clear to you. In the next session, I'm going to associate these drive factor with the eligibility profile. So thank you so much for watching the video.